This video shows you how to set up a contractor and pay them using PaySource. At employee level, I'll select the Add New Employee button here. I'm selecting No to Invite because I'm going to set the contractor up myself and click Next at the bottom. Putting in the name and the other details. Peter at Parker.com. I'm putting in sample numbers here for the IRD number and the bank account. Of course you have to put in correct numbers. And the start date, I'm just going to select the beginning of the month that I'm paying in. I'll click next at the bottom. Tax code. He's informed me that he's on the WT tax code, so I select that from the list. And he's also told me he wants 20% deducted, so I'll put that in. I select next again, and now I'm going to set up the payment for him. I click the little add button here. Under the rules, we've got one specially set up for contractors, which is fixed amount plus GST. I can change the title of it here. I'm going to call it Invoiced Payment um, and including WT. I'm actually going to have several payments for him on one invoice, so I'm going to call it Invoice Payment 1, including WT. Now here we have the feature Has Narrative. I'm going to select Yes to that. This will allow me to put in the invoice number. Of course the payment is taxable and the frequency will be variable because he won't be regularly paid. The amount to load in is zero as well because I don't even know what the invoice payment will be. Right, now I select OK to that and I can set up the second one. I'm just going to click the Add button again choose the correct field, change the name again, invoice payment 2. You can call it anything you want and you can even combine all the invoices into one line but I'd just like to keep these two separate. Has narrative yes, frequency variable, amount 0. I've had enough of that, I click OK and finish. Done. Now when I go to run a pay, I can see that there's a pay card entered for Peter here. I have other contractors that I don't pay all the time. Brian and Fred down the bottom here and I'm going to put Alex out of the pay card list as well because I'm not paying him at the same time either. So I just click the cross here next to Alex and he's down the bottom with the others. I can bring them back any time I want by clicking back again on the cross. However, I'm paying Peter. So now I'm going to enter in the invoice number. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to put the amount in, which is $1,000 for his base figure. When I click the preview button, I can see that the system has already calculated the WT component of this. And you can see the detail of it just below in the PAYE box. So it's showing me that I'm paying him $1,000 taxable and $200 is reducing from that total for WT. That's fine. But now I'm going to apply the GST. So I tick the little checkbox there, and you can see that the total's changed already. When I click the preview button, you can see the grand total here, 1,150. So it's added in the 15% for GST. Further down, you can see a breakdown of that information. It shows you that the GST is 150 and it's been applied. Now I'll do the second invoice. Five, and that one can be $2,000. So I'll tick on the GST, which it shows me straight away how much the GST would be. So I don't have to apply it, but I'm going to tick it on and click the preview button again, and I see my payments have changed there. Further down, you'll see the breakdown individually for each payment. So you can see the exact amounts and separate it out and compare it. You can see the total withholding tax being deducted is $600 on this amount in the PAYE box. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to calculate the pay and then go to the finalised screen to look at the reports. The banking report shows me the amount that will be credited to Peter and the IRD payment that we're going to be holding for them. But the summary report is the best one to get a, a proper look at how much the payments are separated out. You can see that the total invoice between the two invoices paid was $3,000. The total GST is 450 and the gross payment is there. 
and the withholding total is $600. I'm happy with that, but if I'd like to see a payslip to show this, I can click on the detail here. I make sure Peter's name is selected, and over on the right hand side, I click on the download button for the payslip. When I open that up, I can see that each payment, each invoice payment is separated out, showing me the individual totals for the GST and the grand totals on the side. But it also separates the GST into a separate amount at the bottom, 450 for both, and the total gross pay there as well, the withholding tax below that. So it's easy for Peter to be able to see from his invoice that I've actually made the correct payments. So I'll close that now, and I'm back on my main screen. The next step is just to go to the Close and Pay button and finish off the pay.